Hi folks, I wanted to make this contraption here um, as a, a shelf to go in the window um, as a, to act as a balcony so that uh, my cat could uh, lie on it during the day uh, when she wasn't out um, and it'd be nice in the summer and uh, it's got a nice outlook here as well so she could get up there and have a bit of air when she wasn't outside and she's waiting for it to go up now so um, I, I made it and put it in the window and posted a few photographs and several people have said since then that's a really good idea how did you make that so I thought I'd just make this short video to to show you how I went about constructing it fortunately I'm, I have a window that opens outwards in this way and the first thing to do was to decide how far I wanted it to go out and to, to take the measurements accordingly. And I decided that 18 inches would be far enough out and all I did was open the window that amount 18 next thing to do was to measure the width which was 42 inches so we needed uh, 18 inches out, 42 inches wide, and then it was just a question of measuring up the sides. Right, using those measurements, I got the basic materials that I needed, which was a piece of 9mm sheeting uh, which is 42 inches uh, by 18 inches and some 25 by 25 or 1 inch by 1 inch uh, pieces of timber to make the supports underneath there and also to make the sides That's this kind of thing and I also got some hardwood to go along the, the back edge here so that when it rests on the windowsill um, uh, and also on the other side where it rests on the window handle when it's open, um, it's nice and level. And the hardest job for me really was uh, not being much uh, great shakes as a, a carpenter or joiner or anything, really being a woodworker, was uh, getting that triangle correct. I did use a protractor, but actually it could have been simpler than that. Um, once you've got this 18 inch piece along here, and then you've got the, the height that you need to go uh, for the window gap, the other side is 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 easy enough what you could actually do to make it easier and take the gas work out of getting that angle correct is um, to open it to the um, as far as you want it to go and then just cut a bit of cardboard to make a triangular template and then all you've got to do is put that down and um, cut the wood and, and join it accordingly well, but the two sides made um, I attach them to the board using these brass hinges which uh, adds to the strength and stability of it and means that you can just fold it down when it's not in use fold them down uh, with the sides I used ordinary upholstery nails hammered them in halfway working down from the top a uh, three inch gap all the way down between them and then the same along the bottom um, and then it was just a question of putting a ruler across to that side to ensure that I got straight lines for putting the nails in up there and then it was with, with the jute twine tying a knot in one end there and then coming down going across down across down across for all the horizontals and then for the vertical bits when once I reached the bottom here going up and I would loop it round once to ensure that it stays in place 
um, doesn't doesn't slide along all the way up to there and then down and then up again finally finishing at the top again tying another knot there and then hammering the upholstery nails all the way in to hold the twine firmly in place looks like a kind of a half finished uh, football goal My doesn't final it? step was to put a hook underneath on that side so that when this is resting on the windowsill and this side is resting on the uh, window handle I can just tie a bit of string across between the handle and the hook to hold it firmly in place and prevent the window from opening any further. Now we come to fixing it in place. Open the window. Put the handle down. The support rests on the ledge there. Push against that so that it's well in place. Tie that over the hook and that around the handle. Finally, uh, just to prevent the sides from dropping down in a wind or, or vibration or anything like that. There's a couple of wedges that I've made, just off cuts from the one by one and they can go in place. Holds it firmly against the window frame there and That's it. Now, I was going to find a, an off cut of carpet to, to put there to make a, a nice comfortable surface for her to lie on. And then I discovered that this play mat I bought for her actually fits perfectly like it was made to measure. all firmly fixed tied in place that's not moving ready to use final seal of approval <laughs>